Robotics companies love showing off humanoid robots walking, twitching, flipping, even cooking. The demos go viral. Headlines scream the future is here and investors can't throw money fast enough. But here's the truth. Most of it is smoke and mirrors. These robots look amazing on stage, but in the real world, they're fragile, clumsy, and about as useful as a flat pack wardrobe with missing screws. Let's break it down. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more real talk on AI and robotics. Those jaw-dropping demo videos? Carefully staged performances. That backflip you saw? Months of trial and error. That humanoid walking across a stage? Often remote controlled. Behind the scenes, engineers are resetting robots, editing footage, and praying nothing falls over mid-demo. Put one of these robots in a real home with Lego on the floor or a dog running around, and the whole illusion collapses. It's like watching a cooking show. The chef makes it look effortless, but you don't see the 12 failed souffles in the bin off camera. Then there's the price tag. Companies love to say their robots will cost about the same as a car. Sounds reasonable until you remember that prototypes cost hundreds of thousands to design and maintain. Even if they hit that $20,000 to $40,000 sweet spot, who's paying that much for a robot that folds laundry slower than a hungover teenager? For now, these things are more showroom ornaments than household tools. You could buy a dishwasher, a vacuum, and still have enough left over for a holiday instead of watching your 30K robot knock over a plate. The sales pitch is always the same. Robots will cook, clean, and help us at work. But in reality, they struggle with the basics. Folding laundry takes hours. Cooking? Only if you pre-chop everything, label it, and stand nearby just in case. Most can't even handle a messy living room without looking like they've just walked into an alien landscape. And here's the kicker. Why make them humanoid at all? Dishwashers already wash dishes. Factory bots already build cars. Humanoid robots are the equivalent of buying a Swiss army knife the size of a fridge. Cool? but wildly impractical. And in their safety, these robots are basically rolling CCTV towers, covered in cameras and sensors recording your every move, what time you eat, when you're home, and how many times you rewatch the same Netflix show. That data could be hacked, sold, or just accidentally leaked because, let's be honest, nothing says cybersecurity like a robot that still struggles with stairs. And physically, some of these machines weigh 70 kilos or more. That's like a fridge on legs wandering around your living room. One bad software update, and suddenly it's not folding laundry, it's folding the family cat. We've grown up with sci-fi dreams, from C-3PO to the Terminator. Companies know this, and they milk it. Slick videos, shiny renders, and promises that sound like they've been written by a sci-fi scriptwriter. But the reality? Today's robots are slow, expensive, fragile, and limited. They're not helpers. They're high-tech toddlers wobbling through stage demos. And like toddlers, they're unpredictable, expensive, and usually someone else's problem. That doesn't mean progress isn't happening. It is. But it's miles behind the hype. Until then, we should probably stop pretending these things are ready to be our butlers. Humanoid robots are coming, but maybe not in the way companies want you to believe. Right now, they're more circus act than solution. So, the question is, do you buy the hype? Or do you want to wait until your robot can at least handle a flight of stairs without needing tech support? Humanoid robots are still stumbling, but AI isn't. That's why we run the AI Cyclops workshops. One day, no jargon, just practical AI skills you can use right now. Check out the AICyclops.com or call 01908 382457 to grab your spot.